Hey guys, Tech Valley here, and welcome to the seventh lesson of Blockstack Plus React. For this lesson, we're going to be working on the refactoring process of the logout function and creating the navbar. But before we do, I want to show you some swag I got from the Blockstack team, which is a shirt that says Zero to Death. You can get your own shirt from the team if you work on their tutorials, and more information is provided on the next slide. Click on the tutorial and it'll show you step by step how to create your first decentralized application as well as submit an application to get your free shirt. What we want to accomplish in this lesson is to create a navbar that's flexible enough to handle the sign out and sign in status. When a user is signed out, the navbar should contain no text on the right side. But when a user is signed in, we want to show the text posts, my profile and sign out. Let's ignore post and my profile for now, but when a user clicks sign out, it should handle the block stack sign out process. In app.js, we have a conditional that either renders the button sign out or the login component. Similar to what we previously have done in the login lesson, we're going to do some refactoring of the sign out process. For now, what I want to do is move the sign out logic into a separate component. And in terms of how we want to structure this, we'll have to think about it a little bit more since the nav bar will always exist regardless if a user is signed in or signed out. I'm going to create a nav bar folder. And inside of the nav bar folder, I'm going to call the file index.jsx. Inside of index.jsx, I'm going to import react and component from react. And I'm going to export default class navbar comp extends component render. And what I'm going to return here is just the button itself. So going back to app.js, I'm going to copy this and paste it here. And to also take the handle sign out logic and paste it inside of here. And since this component does not have the import for the button, I'm going to say import button from React Boma components. Awesome. And then in app.js, what we want to do is remove this here. And for now, when the user is signed in, we're just gonna let the user know that you are signed in. And in here is where we want to reference the nav bar component. And we could pass in the user session here. Like that, and then we need to import the nav bar component itself. Components, navbar, comp. And let's remove the button since it's no longer being used here. Cool. Let's look at the browser and see what is coming up with this new refactoring changes. On my terminal, I'm going to run the npm run start command and wait for the app to load. There seems to be an error and I'm going to try to resolve this. Components navbar comp is not found in the module. Let's take a look. Ah, I referenced to the wrong folder here. Cool. It says you are signed in. And then when I click sign out. This makes sense because when we copied and pasted the code from app.js to the navbar component, we're referencing to user session as state, but it's being passed via props. So if we go back to our code, in navbar, we just need to change state to props and it should work now. If I click sign out now, cool. And now we have the ability to sign in with block stack, log in here, and then it says you are signed in. Awesome. You'll notice that right now the sign out button will always exist at the moment and we don't want that to happen. We only want to show the sign out component if the user is signed in. So let's fix that right now. 
To know if a user is signed in, we're going to have to leverage the user sessions prop and access the is user signed in uh, function. So first, what we want to do is import prop types from prop types. And here we want to say static prop types equal user session. This is a good practice to have to make sure the props that you're passing in is a proper type. In this case, the user session is a object type. And inside of the render, what we want to do is take out the user session via this.props. And what we want to do here is create a variable called is signed in, and it will rely on the user session dot is user signed in. And then right here we'll say is signed in. Then we'll do a button. Otherwise, let's just do an empty div for now. Let's go look at our browser and see what happens. The user is signed in, we click sign out, and it disappears. We sign in with Blogstack. Cool, and now the sign up button comes. But this isn't exactly what we want. We want to create a nav bar and have some nice styling. And when the user clicks on the right side of the nav bar and sign out, then we want the sign out function to happen. So let's work on the nav bar now. Since we're going to be using a navbar component, let's remove the button and reference to the navbar component from React Forma components. And let's do some boilerplate for to create a navbar. So I'm going to erase pretty much this whole idea here and create a navbar. And inside of the navbar, we'll give it some characteristics via props. So color will be info fixed to the top and that's it for now and then we'll have a navbar.brand here and then inside of navbar.brand let's do navbar.item and then we'll just put a p tag in here that says blog stacks awesome and after that we want to create a navbar.menu so let's reference navbar.menu and then we'll do a navbar.container and we'll give it a position equal n, which means that we want to push it to the right. And then we'll say if the user is signed in, then we want to render some items. So we'll, we'll leverage the react.fragment, which allows us to have separated components without a parent component. And inside of here, we'll do a nav bar dot item. And then we'll say sign out here. And inside of the item, we want to say on click this dot handle sign out. And let's add all the other items as well, but they won't do anything for now. So the first one will be, second one will be my profile. And then the first one will be posts. And I misspelled the sign in, so let's just replace that. And with that, let's look at the navbar and see what happens. So it looks like it was a developer error where I misspelled fragment and named it fragment. I'm going to change this to fragment. And we can go to the browser and see our navbar. In our browser, you can see that the navbar has post, my profile, and sign out. Currently, post and my profile do not do anything, but when a user clicks sign out, it references back to the sign in with Blockstack page, and the content that was on the right side no longer exists. When I click sign in with Blockstack, the navbar contains the post, my profile, and sign out. I want to add a little bit more to the navbar and give it some flexibility on smaller screens. So when a screen gets smaller, I want to give the user the ability to click on a burger icon and give them the options of either going to my profile, posts, or sign out. Let's go back to the code and see how we can do this. The first thing I want to do is create a state variable called open inside of the component. 
and we'll default that to false. The open variable is to determine whether or not to open the dropdown or close the dropdown. And we'll create a function called toggle navbar. And then what we'll do is we'll set the state of the open variable to whatever it currently isn't. So if the variable of open is true, then it will set it to false if you call the toggle navbar. And now what we need to do is create a burger icon that will trigger that toggle navbar function. And luckily, the navbar component from React Bulma component has a subcomponent called burger. So all we need to do is just write navbar.burger and write on click equals this dot toggle this dot toggle navbar. Apologize. And then lastly, we just need to give the navbar pairing component an awareness of whether or not the drop down is open or closed. And here we need to destructure the state as well. Let's go back to our browser and see if it works. When the browser is at a full page, we see the post, my profile, and sign out. And as we start closing the width, we see the burger icon. And when I click the burger, it opens it up. And when I click X, it closes it. Awesome. And when I click sign out, it signs us out. Sign in with block stack. And now it works. Awesome. This is super clean and really nice. And I think this is a good stopping point in terms of refactoring the sign out process and creating the nav bar. And what I want to focus on on the next lesson is creating a user provider via this context. And this will be a little bit more plumbing again to make our development life a little bit easier. But I think this will be very helpful in the long run. I hope to see you in the next lesson. Talk to you then.